Good morning, guys. I'm live here at the Cajun Dome, and you can see we have some action going off now. The utility crews are starting to get rolling. I'm going to step out of the shot here so you can get a better glimpse of everything that's going on. Crew, it looks like the crews just got out of their assignment meeting. And what happens is the assessment crews will go out overnight when it's safe and much better, um, much better things going on. And they'll come back and they'll get a better assessment of the the um, the areas that were most affected. And then they'll go from there as far as the assignment list goes. So, like I said, it looks like the crews they just got out of their meeting. They understand where they're going. They might be going to areas along the state and even areas that are are even our neighboring states that were also affected by Hurricane Ida as well. So luckily, again, as we've seen, fortunately, Acadiana has fared pretty well. I spoke with LUS Representative Garrison Harrison, who says we are not out of the woods just yet. So do not let your guard down because we still have time in our hurricane season. So they want to let everybody know to remain vigilant, but also, of course, be safe. That'll do it for me live here from KG Dome, Megan Glover, KTC TV3. All right, thanks, Megan. That's another reason why, you know, hold tight, let the crews get out there, get their work done. They'll be able to get things back up and running a little bit faster as long as everybody else right. kind of stays out of the way. That's kind of one thing we talk about, too. You know, the hurricane may have gone, right? But it's really just beginning the story like, for sure. This is whenever everything really starts. Um, and, and, you know, there are a lot of people that we know you want to go and you want to see your home and your property and things like that. Um, it's just not safe to do so right. for a lot of people right now. And you're also going back to a lot of places. They don't have water. A lot of places don't have electricity. Gas. Gas is another one. I mean, you're not going to be able to find those things. A lot of our oil rigs had to shut down. So right. like, there's just a lot of factors that play into that. Um, also, I know a lot of the 911 systems are down. So if something does happen, then mm -hmm. no one can get to you. Um, so there's just all things to think about before rushing back. And we're going to do the best we can to keep everything posted at KTC.com and our social media pages, not just for us here in Acadiana, but all of you that have evacuated to our region. We'll try to get you the info as quickly as possible.